<clears throat> so this is the wrap-up for the live market open for November 2nd. It's a Wednesday, six days before the U.S. elections. Um, the dollar is downed by Donald Trump. The higher chances of Trump winning the elections, but Clinton is still in the lead. Uh, tension towards also uh, the OPEC meeting, pushing oil prices lower. And of course, we have the Fed tonight and the non-Trump payrolls on Friday. A uh, bigger event perhaps, well, not for the U.S. dollar, but... This week, I think the main event is Carney, um, the Bank of England Super Thursday. It's expected uh, to leave rates unchanged because the exchange rate is lower. The big question is, will they push, uh, are they still very worried and will they cut interest rates? That could be bad for the pound. Or will um, they uh, pause for now and um, lift the pound? Um, in terms of upcoming events for today, we have the Fed decision at 6 GMT. I invite you all to join our live coverage. We'll be talking about, uh, we'll be covering the event. Uh, no changes expected over there. We have ADP non from payrolls as a hint for the, for the non from payrolls on Friday. The Fed again, no changes, uh, maybe three hawkish dissenters. The same ones could repeat themselves. The big question is a hint about December. Uh, will the Will they make a big commitment? So like in December, that could strengthen the dollar or uh, no commitment, probably no full commitment, but a big hint somewhere in the middle uh, because they want to wait for more data and they won't tell us that also for the elections. Are they worried about the US dollar? That's another question. So all in all, I expect the Fed not to rock, rock the boat to hardly change the statement because not much has changed regarding US uh, figures. Still, the U.S. economy is still moving forward, not, a, not at an impressive pace, but good enough for now. So that's the Fed, the big event for today. Other things to notice, of course, tomorrow is the Bank of England. And um, <clears throat> another big hint tomorrow for the NFP, the ISO non-manufacturing PMI, the service sector. And on Friday, of course, we have the NFP. Okay, a quick look. At the charts, um, we have uh, the US dollar weakening once again. Euro dollar moving higher, levels to watch 110 to 11120. Pound dollar currently at 112, uh, sorry, 122.70, resistance 123.20, support 121.70. Dollar yen falling uh, quite a bit, support there at 103.40 and 102.80, uh, higher resistance 104. 60 dollar CAD um, currently 133.74, 134.60, and 133.50 are levels to watch. Aussie dollar 76.35 um, at the moment, 77 is strong resistance, followed by even stronger resistance at 77.40. Support 76 and 75 are sort of the big levels. Kiwi dollar had great news from over there 70. Uh, 265 is the level to watch on the top side, 72, 7160, and 71 are on the downside. All in all, uh, a weaker dollar, but it's not um, across the board. Okay, the Aussie is showing some weakness, and yeah, the biggest move is against the yen. Uh, the dollar is weakening most against the yen. Just one thing in this, uh, this wrap-up to show you the chances for rate hike. Much as close as I did back in, earlier in the year, but still around 25%, 26% chance for no change. And so that means 75% chance for rate hike in December. Okay.